Pokemon Pocket is literally just around the corner. It's going to be dropping any day right now. Uh, currently, it is only available in New Zealand. Um, but yeah, on the 30th of October, it will be going live for the rest of the world. And I thought it'd be fun to do a comparison between live, which has obviously been around for a while, and Pokemon Pocket being the new kid on the block. Essentially, they are the same game. They are both trade carding games. However, there are some big differences between the two of them. And I thought I did make this video just to help you guys make the right decision in which game you pick up, put all your time, energy and effort into. Um, I also want to give just my raw, honest opinion on both these games. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think as well. So we'll kick things off with live. I mean, I love this layout. Um, you know, Pokemon always bring their A game when it comes to their artwork. This just looks so good. And if we come down here, we do have our 3D avatar, which you don't get in Pocket, which is a real shame. You literally just get an icon, which we'll look at in a moment. But yeah, if we come look at this, it's completely customizable. Um, you know, we can do our face, our eyes, our skin color, our hair. Um, you know, we can have glasses, we can have a hat. Um, for some reason, I've decided to go for like a frat boy look. And probably my favorite thing is if we come down here, is the intro. So when you go into your battle, um, both your avatars pop up and you both will do your little animation. We can go for like a cutesy um, peace sign across the face. We can do like thumbs up or we can do arms crossed. I think I'm a bit of a bad boy, so that's why I go for the arms crossed. And then if you win, you get like a little victory dance as well. So we can fist bump the air. We can do crowd pleaser. So we're pointing into people in this imaginary crowd or we can flex. I like to flex when I win. So Mr. Flexiton comes out and then I'll just quickly hop onto a uh, pocket on my phone. So we're on pocket right now. And if we just have a look at the icon, this is the avatar. This is literally all we get is that icon. And at the moment, there's only six. Again, pocket is the new kid on the block. And I'm sure they are going to bring out a whole bunch of these. But it's a shame. It is really, really limited at the moment. I do think maybe they should have gone for the avatar. Um, I think it would just look a little bit nicer. You also do get these emblems, which, you know, I think it's Mewtwo, Charizard, and Pikachu, which, you know, the main faces of Pokemon from Gen 1. However, they don't really do much and they don't say anything special about your account. I don't really see the point of them being there, to be honest, um, which is a bit of a shame. There is um, some really cool things like you can build your own display boards and binders as well, which I haven't really done. I'm just, for me, I'm not really interested into that. Um, I'd rather do it in the real world with real cards, but I guess it is something that you can do. And um, the pass you have to pay for in this game, don't have to pay for the pass in pocket, just going through all these things. Um, yeah, gifts, there's none for us to pick up. Um, so I guess the next thing would be how you open up the packs. So I prefer how you open up the packs in pocket it just looks so cool. So let's just do that right now. So you've got your Mewtwo, your Charizard and Pikachu packs, um, in live, obviously it's been around a lot longer and they're all there. I'm sure pocket are going to bring some more, um, packs out later down the line, but, um, yeah, but it's just so cool. Like you can literally like these packs as well, they do look real. Like they've got that tin file sort of look about them. And I don't know if we have we got, we don't have enough energy to open up one. Yeah, we do. Good, good, good. All right. So we're going to open up this pack. And you can just, you'll see there's like 10 packs and you can just sort of, you can turn them around. You can swish them about, which just looks so cool. Uh, let's just turn one around. Then we click on it and I feel, and then you just open it up and it just makes it feel so much more real. Like I'm opening up a real pack and then we're just going to turn the cards around. Dratini, sweet, Pidgeotto, nice, Golette, and come on, can we get a big one? Golduck. Okay. That was a pretty weak pack to be honest. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So that is really, really nice. And it does make you have that kind of level of realism that you don't get in live 
And I do feel that overall, I'd say the graphics are better in Pocket. So let's do a, well, actually we'll go through sort of all the things well. So I definitely prefer the display in in Pocket, how you can sort of navigate your cards. You can look at your collection, which you can do in live, but it's not as easy. You have to sort of like build a deck out and stuff. So it doesn't look as good. Uh, you get the social hub as well. So you can make friends in this game. Um, for some reason, live does not want you to have friends. Friends are bad. Um, I'm looking forward to trading coming as well, because that means that I'm going to be able to build out my collection pretty easily. So we've got obviously versus, and then we've got solo. I think for, yeah, do you know what? Let's, uh, let's do, let's go against another player. I'm not going to try and win this one. I'm just literally just want to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to use my electric balls deck. And yeah, so we're just going to try and find an opponent. All right, here we go. So yeah, the animation is so sweet, like how it sort of goes in, flick, flipping that coin. We're going second, which in general gives you a bit of an advantage. Depends what deck you're playing though. And all these animations, sort of how the cards flip over, the camera's going in and out. You can see the background changing as well. Um, just all these special effects that just look so cool. And then we're just going to wait for my opponent to take his turn. Oh, and Zapdos, that is like one of my strongest cards. So let's bring that out. Then we're going to drop some energy. And look, the card, it comes into your face, flips around, and then drops. So sick. And then we're going to drop some energy on Zapdos. Um, and then also the background change well. So I customized and chose that background. I'm not, I can't remember actually how I did that. Um, that is annoying. Like I cannot remember, but it just looks so cool. And let's drop down Professor Oak. So both these games are really, really chilled. You know, they're slow paced. They're not fast paced like a shoot em up. Um, but yeah, so I'd say that the gameplay and mechanics are more basic in pocket is very, very simple. If you sit, click here, like Voltorb can just do a tackle. Zapdos can do Peck and Thunder Hurricane, just two abilities. Uh, there's coin toss in there as well, so quite a lot of RNG. Um, yeah, so I'd say that the problem with Pocket is that it is very basic and it is quite RNG based. So sometimes you can just get a terrible hand and you can't come back from it, where I feel that live is more skill based. And where it is skill based, if you do get a bad hand, you can still have a comeback, which you just can't do in, in live. Uh, so you can't do it in pocket. So I'm going to finish that one up and we'll hop back into, into live. So let's just concede just so you guys can see what it looks like when we sort of lose. So if you lose, that's all it says is defeated. And then, yeah. And then you can just sort of see, it would show you like your best card. Obviously we didn't really do much. So that's why I say thanks to Lucas. Uh, you need to thank everyone in pocket as well. If you thank people, you get um, like, um, I don't know, I guess it's like a handbag or something, but you can spend it in the shop basically. So let's go back onto live and we're back into live. So just before we do that, I do want to just touch on the shop quickly. Um, so the shop is way, way more complicated in uh, live than it is in pocket. You need to do your homework before you start buying packs in this game because otherwise you could really mess up your account. And you've got the expansions as well. Um, you definitely want to make sure you do buy the battle pass as like the first thing because you just get so much out of it. Um, it is just give you the most bang for your bucks in this game. So definitely go for that first. Um, but yeah, and then in pocket, I do prefer the shop because it's way more simple. And it's easy to figure out what you want to get and what you should invest in. So let's do a casual one. Just see if we can get a fight quickly. Or a battle. I need to stop saying fight. If we can get a battle quickly. All right, here we go. So this is the animation. So avatars uh, going off against each other. And I have to say, I do prefer the layout in Pocket. Um, I just feel like the colors are very, very bland in live. I wish I could customize the tabletop because it's just really boring to look at. It really is. So we're just going to wait for our opponent to sort of go first and do their thing. 
But yeah, but you can see we've got our cards here and the layout it is more complex. You're going to see on the left hand side, we've got our cards that we can pick up that we can win. And then on the right hand side, these are the cards that we can pick up. Where with live, you know, is very uh, with pocket, sorry, it was very, very basic. So we're going to drop our Charmanders. And then we're going to say we're done. And one of the things that I do prefer about live is that you can do like big strings of combos and you can completely turn around a fight. So it may look like you're going to lose. And then, yeah, you can just do a complete switcheroo. So we're just going to chill now, let them take their turn. I think this is going to be an easy win, to be honest. Uh, this guy has not really put a lot of effort into it. So yeah, um, yeah. let's use our, what's this called? Buddy Buddy Poffin. So pick up both those Charmanders. And yeah, they're going to drop on the board. But you can see already, like, there's so much more already going on. Yeah. Yeah, let's drop some energy. Let's use um, Time Machine. And we're just going to evolve... Two of our cards. Yep, confirm. Confirm. And I actually messed that up. Damn, we, we didn't get to evolve a Charmeleon. Oh well, never mind. But um, yeah, the gameplay is so much more complex. There's so much more depth to it. And there's just so many cool different abilities that you can do in this. So with this Radiant Charizard, he, you know, that's an expensive ability. However, if I'd like killed three of his cards or if say say i'd got three prize cards then you'd only need two energy to do this massive damage builder so yeah definitely makes sense and just gonna wait for them to take the turn i do want to sort of drop that ultra ball and then use my rare candy so we can get like a nice combo off and evolve our charmander And you can see a um, Lumino, sorry, Luminion. That um, you know, again, there's just more stuff going on, and there's just, I just feel that Pokemon Pocket, I would say, is more for your sort of casual. You don't have a lot of time in your hand, um, and you just want to pick up a game quickly. With Live, it is going to take you a few games to sort of understand the mechanics and see and figure out what's going on. Um, but I think it's definitely worth it. I feel that having that the depth in the game is just way more fun and it's got more longevity to it where with Pocket, I could see people getting bored of it. So we're going to evolve our Charmander because I feel like we are going to have to pop off a little bit. Can you use this Infernal Region? And this is just really cool. Like we're doing all these things where in, in Pocket, you don't have this kind of level of depth to it. And actually, we're going to use another Ultra Ball. Pick up another Charizard. Hopefully, we should pick up another Rare Candy as well. And then we're just going to use Burning Darkers and just pop off and just drop their Radiant Charizard. And then we just pick a um, prize card. But yeah, so I think graphically, I think Pocket, is it does look nicer. However, the gameplay and the depth, I feel like Live is the better game. Is for more diehard fans that are willing to put in that time and effort to learn the game and just yeah there's just so much more to it so yeah i think in my humblest opinion live is the better game but honestly you know you guys let me know how you feel uh, i'm just gonna concede now so you guys oh yeah you can also sort of taunt your opponent i wish there were more things that you could do in this because it can be frustrating when i guess one of the things i don't like about live is here you look at these timers they start at 25 minutes. You can have a 50 minute fight. So if you are going to play live, you do need to set some time aside for it. I'd say the average fights are about 10 to 20 minutes, where with Pocket, it's about five to 10 minutes. Um, so Pocket is more fast paced, but I just feel like live is just the better game overall. But yeah, let's, uh, let's concede, just so you guys can sort of see the difference between Pocket and, and live. And it just looks nicer. That is a way, way better animation. 
And then the guy gets to do his little fist bump because he beat us. Um, and then you can see, we, you know, what were your best cards. So that's pretty much the interview, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.